What up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got something special. Something special to me, at least. We're out here Jones West in Emporia, Kansas, and this will officially be my last round on this course. And here's why. So over the years, we've lost a lot of trees in this park due to ice, wind, um, tornadoes, whatever the case may be. So over the years, Jones West has got significantly easier. The integrity of the course is gone and it, it's sad. It really is. It's not the, it's not the beautiful 18 hole layout that I once, once played when I was a, a, a kid, I guess you would say back in high school. Um, of course, it's just not the same. It hasn't been the same for many, many years now. And um, yeah, we have so many beginner friendly courses in town. We have Peter Pan, uh, we've got New Life Church, we've got Derek Riley's place, we've got Flint Hills Tech College, we've got Mun uh, the middle school. Um, Hammond Park is a great one. There's a course on campus. That's just to name a few, you know, and then you go 15, 20 minutes outside of town, you've got Olpe, you've got the Olpe Park course, you've got Chase Disc Golf Course, you've got Count Council Grove. All these courses are fantastic courses, but they're not championship level. With the World Championships coming to town, this year to Emporia, Kansas, we needed to make a decision. And that decision was to make a fantastic course. So we did so. I believe we did so. Supreme 18 is gonna be a phenomenal course. I'm very, very excited to watch these pros attack this course. I cannot wait. Course is almost done. We've got these brand new red and blue veterans with the new configurations, the longer chains. We've listened to you guys' complaints and I think we fixed it. So I'm excited for that portion of it. But the point of this video, is sentimental for me to come out and play Jones West one last time and bring you guys along with me. Maybe talk about the history of the park a little bit, some of the holes that have changed over the years, and just bring you guys along. Just have a good casual round, and um, it's a beautiful Sunday day, Sunday afternoon, and it's oh, 60 degrees or something like that with no wind, and anytime there's no wind and above 40 in Kansas, you get outside for sure. So I just wanted to bring you guys along with me. I'm rambling at this point. Let's just hop right on the course. Let's do it. Jones West, hole one. We're going felon. All right, hole number two. Just right behind that cedar tree right in front of us. This time of year, you can always go low skip, but for some reason, I've always liked the big, big hyzer here, so enforcer. Get left. Eh, it's about pin high, maybe a touch long, but it'll putt. I left myself about circle's edge, not terrible. That putt looked terrible, but it went in. Two through two. Okay, hole number three is not an OG hole. It is, uh, it's newer, unlike hole one and two, both same holes, been in the ground since the late 80s, uh, since I've been playing. Those holes have been the same. So this one, we moved the tee probably about five years ago, probably something like that, but either way. Nice straight shot. I'm going to go with Vader. Ooh, that looks really good. Hold. Ah. Didn't quite hold over, but she's pin high. Putting. I'll take it. All right, left myself. 20. 20 foot. Top link. Looking into the distance, you could probably see like four baskets. This is an OG hole, OG T pad. There's two pins that are short and long on this hole. I'm gonna play to the long because it's always been my favorite. Plays about 500 feet downhill. Um, yeah, it's always been a staple on Jones West. Going ballista, Joel.
Get off it. Get under. Ah. Heck of a kick though. That a boy, Joel. I left myself way too much. Just try to get up and down. Blend Emac Judge. Whoo! Give her a run. Why not? Blow by. Left myself about a 35 foot tester putt. I'll take it. Man, that putter's coming out smooth. Nice hyzer at the end. Love it. Hole number five has been the same for many, many years. A lot of people like to go big forehand up over the top. There's a little hyzer line on the right side, but I like to go big turnover, Emac Judge. Come on, drop, drop, all right, great line, just over the top on the dam. Birdie. Hole number six, one of those holes that uh, has drastically changed over the years. Used to be about 10 more of those little cedar trees in the fairway. Um, they all died. They either wind or ice or disease or whatever killed them all off. So very unfortunate. Used to be if you went left, you'd be obstructed by the basket from the basket. Now it's pretty open over there. So just a big dump hyzer. I'm going chameleon trespass. Well, I said left, so we're gonna be left, way left. So it used to be, this was awful. Had no look over here. Now it's wide open, but I mean, obviously I threw a horrible shot, but. Left myself about 55, maybe 60. Wow, I pulled that way, right? Solid par on the hole I just said was easy. Hole number seven. Also a hole that we've lost some trees on. It's gonna get repetitive, I know. Uh, it used to be a massive willow tree kind of down by the basket that was just gorgeous. It, if you went too far left, you used to have uh, those willow branches hanging in your face, which was always a, a tough obstacle, but big hyzer, we're going Ricky Felon. Get down, quick, quick. All right, I'll take it, about 25. Actually, I left myself about 35. Wow, what a catch. That should not have stayed in. Great catch, Mr. Basket. Hole number eight, there's a few ways to attack this hole. You can either go stall hyzer, forehand, lefty hyzer, or right at it. I've always liked the right at it. Cedars have all pretty much stayed the same over the years. They've actually been trimmed up underneath them. So if you get in there, it's a little easier to get out now. But the little trees on the green past it that are also on Nine's tee pad, used to be about 20 more of those. So yeah, those uh, the smaller ones, I think the mowers hit them quite often and probably just take them out, but lost a lot of them there. So I'm gonna go Emac right down the middle. If you hit the gap, you're probably getting a birdie and maybe even a little bit of a, an ace run, a look at of an ace at least.
Gap, chain high. <laughs> Would have loved to ace that. Left myself a lengthy comebacker though. Get up. Low, low, low. You know how many putts I've missed on Jones East or Jones West? Definitely missed more putts than I've made out here. Hole number nine, it's changed a little. Tee pad has gotten longer due to trees that we've lost, these little ones that I was referring to on hole eight's tee pad. Um, one thing I am excited about that the new Supreme short style course, whatever we're gonna call it, this hole will still be there. So you will always get to play this hole, which makes me happy because when I think about Jones West, I think of this hole. Enact truth. Sit right there. All right, I'll take it. Pin high. Squirrel. Mad squirrel. Red and blue veteran. This one is <clears throat> part of the Supreme course, so you're gonna start to see these out there. Such a beautiful looking basket. Hole number 10. Another hole that's been around. We did have the tee, used to be over by the, what the current mando tree is. It used to have a huge, I think it was a cottonwood maybe, tree that was in the middle that used to play as the mando. And back then I remember it was such a tight turnover shot to get it to turn and flex. It was a shorter hole, but it was a great hole. So when that tree was gone, it was a wide open hole. So we had to move the tee back here. It's a good hole. Still is a great hole, just a long straight tunnel shot. Hole 10, I'm going Evader. Come on, stay up. Ooh, just a little to the right. Ended up a little longer than I thought. Can't make it if you're short, I guess. So we got about a circle's edge putt. Pull 11 has changed a lot over the years as well. Keep pad used to actually be way up to the left and used to be a big dump hyzer shot. And then they built this beautiful playground. So we had to adjust the course because of that. But I think this is a great, great mix, a uh, great change. Just a long straight kind of tunnel. We've used this on Jones Gold and we will use this fairway on Supreme 18 from the dam. It's gonna be a fantastic hole, but for now, I'm gonna to go to the short pin with an evader. Sit right there. Eh, a little bit of a skip. Man, I have left myself with a lot of circle's edge putts today. Not something you really want to do on Jones West. Wow, that was high again. New veteran, new configuration. You'd love to see it. <laughs> Hole number uh, 14. Well, no, 12. Used to be 14. That's how confused I still am. Uh, this basket's not there anymore because of the Supreme course. We did pull this one because of how close proximity it was to the other hole. But I'm going to throw it anyway. I'm just going to go putter Emac Judge right down the middle. And turn it over into the trees. Scoot all the way through for a birdie putt. Lucky. Got lucky to get all the way underneath that tree. Basket's usually about 20 feet that way. It was a better hole over there. Although this hole on Jones, the Supreme Jones 18 is gonna be one of my favorite holes on the course. You'll see that later. As long as you subscribe. All right guys, hole number 13. 
another T that has moved over the years used to be over there, kind of where old 14 current 12s long placement is. Uh, just a little dump hyzer. Actually, yeah, you probably can't even see the basket. It's pretty hard to see, but I'm going to Vader to try to skip up there, give myself a look. I like it. Play it short, get the skip. Success. All right, left it a little left, but shouldn't be an issue. Five holes to go. Hole number 14 used to be hole number 16 when I first started playing here. Used to be a short pin on the left and then a long pin next to the cedar. And uh, we've lost some trees, et cetera, et cetera, as you've heard throughout this entire video. Um, so yeah, now it's just kind of dead straight. There is a long pin I'm playing to the short because the short is kind of where the long somewhat used to be. So last round and all, I figured I better play it. We're going Emac Truth right at it. Pin high, probably another 30 footer. <sighs> what do you know, left myself another putt. <laughs> Maybe just inside the circle on this one would be my guess. I'll take a birdie, 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 birdie. I'm gonna go from the short tee. This hole's probably changed the most. I'll get into it down on the green to show you exactly what I'm talking about, but we're gonna go Emac Judge right at it. That looks really good. Off the mark. So close. That was so close, guys. Off the side of the chains. That would have been a pretty cool Pretty cool shot. Whatever. Birdie. I guess I'll take the birdie. I'll settle. All right, guys, hole number 13. Used to be hole number 13, I should say. It is now hole number 16. Uh, as I mentioned on the hole before, this is one that's been drastically changed over the years. This particular hole has been similar, but used to play like 11, 12, and then on the other side of the tree line, you'd play 13. But when they put that playground in, um, that's when we had to maneuver some things, change some things up, and this is the end result. We're going to go right to the elevated basket. It's a relatively short hole. I'm going Moonshine, Emac Judge. Got OB on the right. Uh, nothing to worry about on the left. You just don't want to be too far and have to make a long putt on this elevated basket. So put it out there to the right. She's stable, get busy. That'll play. All right, guys, I went a little bit long. Tough to see from the green where I was at. Uh, uphill putt, about 15 and about 20. Uh, uphill, yeah, like, like every putt's not uphill for me. All right, short joke. All right guys, hole number 17. This used to be 18 way back in the day. Uh, hole 17 used to be a little short hyzer putter shot to right in here. Had one more cedar that was blocking to make a nice little tunnel shot. And then you would come here and play to what is the island. But there used to be hundreds of trees. I'll show you when we get down there kind of what I'm talking about. But for now, I'm going Lucidex Trespass. It's in the right pin. Um, I'm just trying to get close to the yellow pin on the left and play it for par. Or give myself a putt. We'll see. Ooh, I like that turn a lot. Stay up. All right. Man, go pick up a Lucidex Trespass because those things are good. A little short, but left a putt. Like I said, happy with a three anytime I play this hole. Just to the right. I'll settle for three. All 
All right, guys, as I mentioned, this is the green. See this pond? There was trees on both sides of it. I mean, thick trees. You could not even see this island. It was like its own little, like a true island. It was actually really cool. All you old schoolers, if you remember, comment down below what it used to look like. So much different. I hated it at first, but uh, I grew to like it because it was very beautiful. This green is awesome. Uh, we will be using the green, be using this basket, but the tee pad for Supreme 18 is going to be down that way. Um, yeah, and then you're going to play 18 or 17 backwards, so good stuff. Let's move on to 18, our last hole. Hole number 18, we're almost done. There's a kid fishing right by the basket, so I am not going to go for the green on this today. Usually I would, especially on a day like this where it's calm and I could flex something over the water with no wind. But today I'm just going to throw something down the middle of the fairway and shoot over for a, uh, for hopefully a birdie it is a par four. Uh, this hole is always finished there, it feels like. It, this is this is still relatively new to me, even if this hole has been in the ground for probably, geez, 10, at least 10 years. So still a little weird, but here we go. Last hole on Jones West. Not the best line, not the best shot, but down the middle, I'll be able to work that. All right, normally guys, I would probably throw a hyzer shot at this, but there's a kid fishing, like I said. So I don't want to bother him. Fishing is important, am I right? So I'm just gonna go, I guess I'll go forehand felon. Might as well do something I'm known for, right? On the last shot, <laughs> jokes. Right around the corner, that's gonna be long. Gonna have a long uphill putt. Little distraction in the background, no big deal. All right guys, there it is. We are done, officially done. My last round ever on Jones West. Whew, surreal, Bitter, bittersweet feeling for sure. First course I ever played on, so um, while I am a little sad, to know that I won't be able to play the official Jones West layout ever again. I'm happy. I'm excited for the future of Emporia Disc Golf with the Supreme 18 and the short Supreme course. Oh, it's gonna be great. I know a lot of people aren't super thrilled with this idea of taking out East and West, but with all the other beginner friendly courses we have in town, as I touched on earlier, um, this is needed. You know, the city sees value in disc golf. This is a destination course. The Supreme 18 will be a destination course. People are gonna to wanna to come play this. People come to town to play the country club, pay to play the country club. They're gonna to wanna to come for a couple extra days and play the Supreme course when it's all said and done. Can't wait for it to debut at the Dynamic Discs Open. We will have some videos out when the course is finalized and complete, and it'll be on my channel. I'll do one on mine, we'll do one on DD's. So make sure you guys are subscribed to both and uh, that way you don't miss any of that content. So thanks guys so much for coming out with me on this beautiful Sunday afternoon for my final round at Jones West. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.